Hey guys, welcome back to All in Allah. This is uh, OBGYN. And today we're going to talk about what are the fetal complications with prolongation of pregnancy. If the pregnancy is prolonged, what are the complications you will see in what you call in a fetus. Okay, so let's talk about this. So the most important is remember the oligohydromnias. The oligohydromnias means the low levels of a decreased uh, amniotic fluid volume. Okay, at uh, 42 weeks of pregnancy, the amniotic fluid is around I think 48, 480 ml, right? So it keeps on decreasing as there is a prolongation of the pregnancy. Then we have another one is known as a cord compression. Cord compression. Okay, the cord compression. Okay. And uh, then we have meconium aspiration syndrome, okay? And the fetal trauma, remember the fetal trauma, it's a due to what you call large fetal size, shoulder dystocia can take place, brachial injury, brachial plexus injury, okay? Fracture of the humerus of the clavicle, severe asphyxia could be the complication that can result due to the prolongation of the pregnancy, okay? And uh, the increase what you got chances of operative interference because of the more prolongation of the pregnancy, uh, more chances of going into a cesarean section rather than normal delivery. Okay, the post maturity syndrome, known as the post mature infants, presents with a characteristic appearance. Post maturity syndrome, post maturity syndrome in fetus, you see, what's that is a wrinkled, peeling, patchy skin, wrinkled. Peeling patchy skin, a long thin body suggesting wasting. Okay, the baby will be long, but there will be what you call because of that, it looks as if there's a wasting. Okay, and the face has a typical mature appearance, typical mature appearance face. Okay, guys, so these are the characteristic features of the post maturity syndrome seen in the fetus. Thank you so much for watching this video. And there are new little complications soon after the birth chemical pneumonitis, atelectasis. Pulmonary hypertension due to meconium aspiration, you know very well, hypoglycemia, polycythemia, or respiratory failure could be there. Okay, guys? So these are the complications. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.